I recently made a community post about the 3xx village, and the result was quite interesting. A lot of people assumed that this village would be good in situations like this, where we're using these boomerangs, but in reality it's a little bit different, and I assume that because a lot of people probably don't even know what the 3xx village does. So, if it has a significant change on these boomerangs, what we should see is a significantly higher amount of pops that this elite sniper would have from beating round 98 than if it uh, had a the village buff onto these, because we have a lot of money in these support towers, so it should be significantly higher, but the result won't be like that, and I'm going to show you why it is and why buying the 3xx village for your primary towers is not always the best idea and i'll show examples of when it is significantly better and in some cases it can even double the damage of your primary towers so in that example the elite sniper got 700 more pops which is an increase but in the multiple tests that i run it's a little bit lower and when you put that into consideration the increase that you get from the uh primary training onto other towers for the support isn't very good and not really worth it so let's see why so these are the stats for the primary training the top part is related to jungle drum but it gives extra range and plus one pierce which right off the bat is not what a lot of people think it appears that some people think it's like more damage more attack speed but no it's not it's just a little bit of extra range and extra pierce so here's the thing about extra range in some cases, it's extremely good. In some cases, it's not very good. And it really depends on the type of tower you're using and the length of the round. So in these examples, I'm showing where uh, if you send uh, a longer round, the extra range will have less of a benefit, which is why on these long rounds, like 98, uh, the benefit that you're getting from extra range is not very large. And uh, these rounds in the late game especially have extremely uh, long rounds, like 96. Some of them are short, but most of them are very long. And those are typically the rounds that are harder to deal with. It's kind of difficult to explain why the longer the round is, the worse uh, extra range will benefit you. But overall, that's just how it is. And we're going to be going on to the pierce. And uh, a thing that a lot of people expect don't expect is that pierce will not always benefit your tower and it, towers with super high pierce will get barely any benefit from them like that bomb shooter it only got five more pops for having the uh, primary training on it then we're going to be looking at this 203 bomb on round 63 it got about 11,000 pops we're going to add primary training and let's see how much it does now and so after rerunning it a few times, we do get a uh, more clear answer. But this is another thing where this buff is not really enough to overcome RNG if you have it in your situations. And when there really isn't any RNG, a lot of times when you're using these high pierce towers on these rounds, you will get pretty much the same exact result. And going on to the next example of a case where it won't do anything, uh, if you're just trying to use as much pierce as possible and you already have a super high pierce tower like this ultra juggernaut, you are again going to get the same exact result with it or without it. And then I'm going to move on to some reasons why you would want to do this. And this is because there are some towers that gain a lot of benefit from these and on some rounds that are shorter and you need that pierce like tack shooter will gain big benefits from pierce and the range because its range is pretty small so the additive is a lot more and the pierce is also pretty small so it gains a lot more pierce and another the probably the best example is the inferno ring where its damage will pretty much be doubled when you're exclusively using the meteor uh when you add primary training so we're going to see the pop count of this it's like forty one thousand. then we're going to add primary training and it's much bigger so overall, uh, towers that have low pierce but do higher damage and on rounds that are shorter and need more pierce for the towers that you are using will usually have great benefits from this. But in many other situations, it's not really going to do much for you, especially if you're maxed out on pierce and the range example uh, will not really apply for you. So in those situations, you would not want to buy this, but in 
uh, situations that don't, it, it definitely is worth it. So overall, this doesn't really apply much if you're doing like easier and intermediate chimps because this uh, saving these costs is only around like $800. But if you're doing harder chimps, this definitely can be worth it. And I've had runs that died because I was like a few hundred dollars short of a first strike on round 100. So being able to save this kind of money on harder maps definitely can make a difference, but it might not on easier maps. So anyways, that is something interesting that I found with the community on this tower. And uh, overall, if your towers have super high pierce and the rounds are long, it usually is not worth it to buy these upgrades, especially if you're not going to use all the pierce. For example, the uh, 204 boomerangs have 420 pierce, so adding plus one pierce will change it to 421. Not really worth it, and the long rounds don't make the extra range get much benefit. But if that is not the case, it definitely is worth it to get, because on many towers, that plus one pierce can do a lot, sometimes even double the damage. And uh, on short rounds, the extra range will have more of an effect, so it would be more worth it to buy this upgrade. Anyways, that's that, and goodbye.